Capricorn. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of November 2020. Show me the monties. Drip down with a little bit of festive Thanksgiving energy. I hope all of you guys have been doing well and been being very festive in 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 time and ready to enjoy the holiday season you guys thank you so much for clicking this video shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who came through to show some support and love to this page if you would like to continue to show support and love to this page and if you would like to book a personal or private reading or just you know send some type of love donations to the page all that information is in the description box of this video or you can check the about tab on my YouTube page I do video readings only on Google Hangouts or on Instagram Messenger. So if you would like to connect with me for a, a personal private reading, uh, just send me a message on um, Instagram Messenger. And if you don't have Instagram, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I will help you get all set up for Google Hangouts, which is a free, easy app to download. The only thing we need to do is exchange each other's emails, which again, mine's is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you would like to book a reading with me, Instagram Messenger or shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right and again um all other forms of support are greatly appreciated thank you to everyone who has sent love and support through cash app through paypal if these videos resonate you guys just want to send a dollar to just to you know send some love and support to the page i really appreciate it thank you to everyone who's been sending gifts of new decks and um just equipment and stuff that i need to just keep the page going through the amazon wish list all forms of donations are greatly appreciated and I thank you so much because all of the stuff that y'all see here before y'all, y'all have donated to the page and y'all have gifted to yourself. So again, thank you so much. Um, you know that we always give a testimony of just thanks and just love to Father God for just waking us up every day and just bringing us here to receive this blessing and this message. So let's just give him acknowledgement and thanks. So Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. You already know what's going on with us. You already know we are trying to stay focused, man. <laughs> we are trying to stay focused. Okay, and you know this. So, Father God, we don't really have too much to say right now. We, I just feel a level of just anxiousness of just wanting to know what you want us to know. And, Father God, we just want to be what you want us to be in life, Father God. And we're finally listening and we're really trying to, you know, stay out of our way and just make the best decisions in life. So, Father God, we, you know, we ain't here to do too much talk. You know, we're here to listen. So, Father God, give us guidance with a sign of Capricorn. Let us know what's going on. And thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons that you have given and that we have received in the past, present, and the blessings that we have yet to receive in the future. We thank you in advance. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, you already know how we about to do this. So, we about to lay the cards all down and see what becomes. And, uh, let's see. Okay. So, the, the song Slow Down, I Just Want to Get to Know You, is playing in my hand. Ooh. So, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't know. Am I going to have to take this car, y'all? Am I going to have to take this car? Look, is this the same badass boy? This look like the same badass boy, y'all. I didn't even mean to split the deck like this, but don't this look like the same little badass little fucking boy? What in the hell are you into, little thing? This look like the same badass little boy. I, I feel like you're not interested. It's like something that you're not interested in. But at the same, okay, no, we're gonna have to take these cards. We're gonna have to take these cards because I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now they're saying sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Oh, um, man, Joyce has nuts. Mounds don't. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Oh, um, man, Joyce has nuts. Mounds don't. I just, I feel like you, 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 <laughs> right now you feeling like a nut. <laughs> right now you was feeling like a nut. Anything that don't have nuts in it, you was like, mm-mm. 
I'm so sorry about it. I'm not interested in that. I'm so sorry about it. You need something thick. You need something chunky. You need something delicious. I don't know. I don't know why am I feeling like that. Like I feel like y'all. Why is this video about to be very inappropriate? Capricorn, what the fuck? You just like I wasn't getting the nut. Like I was not getting the nut that I wanted. I am sorry, little chestnut roaster. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Listen, Jack Frost nipping. He like you motherfucker. Right? Listen, you know what season it is. You know what season it is. I am ready for my chestnuts roasted on the open fire. Okay? All right? It is cold outside. I got my hot cocoa. Honey, I'm ready for my chestnuts. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm toasted. I'm good. Listen. It's like I know what I want. Period. I know what I want. Period. I want the chestnuts. Anything, look, anything that ain't got that chestnut flavor, I am so sorry about it. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. Let's see what the hell going on with y'all. Oh, my God. Y'all talking about chestnut, hot cocoa, and, and burnt toast and coffee time. You like, yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I got to separate this reading, you guys. I have to separate this reading because I feel like you guys have a two-way optional story. <laughs> I feel like there's a two-way optional story. There's something that you're rejecting and there's something that... Look, hey, look. Red for stop. Green means go. Red means... Look, I said mounds. This was the mounds and this was the almond joy. Green and red. Like job dead thread. I'm so sorry about it. Like, this is something that is... I'm <laughs> it is a lot of like Christmas spirit up in here for right now. Let's see what let's see uh uh cuz I can't even just I can't I got to do this reading differently. Let's see why why you stopping? What is making you halt? Halt. Who goes there? <laughs> what is making you halt? What is making Capricorn halt right now cuz I can't even do y'all I can't even do y'all spread like how I was going to. The ten of water What? What a successful marriage, a successful relationship in like marital union happiness is making you halt? You don't want that? Capricorn? <laughs> is, is the what? Really? But you know what? I'm not even I'm not even surprised because I have a Capricorn that this literally I, I'm not even surprised. I'm so not surprised. I am so because I, I every day I really do be asking this girl like, do you even want a healthy relationship? Because she's the toxic motherfucker. No offense. But the person that I'm talking about that I know, she is toxic like fuck. I swear, anytime I be seeing a good man anywhere near her, I be like, oh my God. Is this person just like a glutton for punishment? He don't see that this girl is, is, <laughs> and I'm so sorry about it. I'm so sorry about it, but I speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the damn truth. That, that Capricorn female that I know, she is toxic. She is so toxic, and I'm, and, and. Healthy relationships is what she runs from. She runs to toxic relationships. She runs to people who misuse, cheat, abuse her, manipulate her, do everything other than what a good person should do. That's what she runs for. A healthy, ha happy relationship. She, she runs from that shit. What is this? The seven of earth? The seven of earth is someone that's impatient, that doesn't really have quality or sense of value in something like they 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 are too impatient to really sit down and wait for what is good for them you know what i'm saying like this is someone that went to go plant a patch of strawberries and as soon as you see the first little sign of a strawberry sprouting out the shit is green and small it ain't even red or ripe yet like you already picking it off trying to eat it and wonder why your stomach feeling like this and you got the bubble guts and you sick you too impatient and you fucking up the harvest. You're not even allowing shit to really grow for real. It's just like, this is no. Mm-mm. Too impatient. 
You're too impatient. And or the seven of pentacles in the reverse is like someone who ain't paying attention to the growth of a situation. You not, you not, like you too all over the place. Listen, this is someone too all over the place. They got something good over here that they should be paying attention to, but you stopping to run at to run to what's more difficult. Cause what's more difficult, it seems fun or something. I gotta, I got I gotta just keep. Hold on. Hold on. Then you got the devil in the reverse. So this is like to me, this is someone that legitimately like has a deep attachment to everything that is negative and that's not good for them. Like this person is like they get a chance to be released and let go, but they go run right back to it because they don't have patience. They don't have a sense of quality. They don't want to wait. It's like the devil will give it to them quicker. You know what I'm saying? Temporary satisfaction and temporary, you know, gratification is better than sitting around waiting forever for a full harvest of what you've really been wanting. And, and that's what I'm getting here, you guys. I, I don't think that, like, this is, mm-mm. Now they trying to sing Blackberry Molasses to me, but I can't remember the song. Remember, Blackberry Molasses, one thing of things will never change. You gotta keep pushing on, the sun don't rain all the time. It's gonna be some heartache and pain. I know I fucked them words up. Woke up Sunday morning, got us something mm, 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 today. I can't remember the words, y'all, but I really feel like y'all need to listen to Blackberry Molasses. It's not going to rain all the time. It's going to be some heartache and pain. I, I got to keep going with this story because I can't jump around with this one. I'm serious. I feel like the thought of a healthy, happy relationship is off-putting to whoever this person is. They, they don't have time to wait. And like I said, this, I was trying to, before I even realized the devil in the reverse is there. Because um, like the devil in the reverse, depending on the cards that's surrounding it, with this seven of earth in the reverse. Like this is someone that will stoop to the lowest depths of the low to get what they want quicker versus waiting you know what i'm saying so it's like if i gotta sell my short myself short by doing this as long as i get this then it's okay for me it ain't gonna last you know what i'm saying like because you went about it the devil in the reverse route you're gonna get you're gonna get fast results but it's not gonna stick around do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why your face be frowned up all the damn time. Because I feel like you're looking for solidary commitment and trust in a situation where you weren't even willing to put the effort in to make sure that it was going to be solid for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like someone trying to boil water, right? You don't need to put salt and water to boil your water. That ain't going to do nothing but add more sodium to whatever the fuck you eat. And so because you wanted to be impatient and just instead of just letting the boil sit on the fucking flame and take its time and come to a boil on its own, you keep adding salt in the water when everything that you already cooking that you about to throw in the water already got sodium and seasoning in it. And then you wonder why your ass got high blood pressure and shit like that. You wonder why you sick all of the damn time and now you can't eat and enjoy the things that you want because you want to shit fast. In the long run, this shit is going to catch up to you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right now, you might be ex experiencing some heartache and pain or it's something that's going on that you don't that you don't like right now. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you are experiencing right now that... Listen, because remember, this one is like chestnuts roasting on an open fire to sit there and, like... This person has their coffee, their tea, and just sitting back and relaxing, watching the chestnuts roast. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone, that's patience. This is someone that found a way to entertain themselves. They're talking shit, sipping tea, you know what I'm saying, doing blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying, thinking they the shit, running their mouth while they waiting for the chestnuts. 
I feel like this is some type of phase that is kicking your ass right now that you trying to come the fuck up out of because like someone over here has been chasing the devil because they ain't patient and they don't have no sense of value in self. Don't got no sense of value in self. Want everything quick, want everything fast. You don't really care about if anything really lasts long. Look, it's always tea time. What does this say? Eternity, endless moments, repetition. It's always time for some tea. It's always time for some fuck shit. It's always time. It need to stop being time for this shit. Like, I really do. Always down for the gossip. Always down for the tea. Like, this, this shit. It's like you always part of some gossip. You always part of some fucking tea. And that shit need to fucking stop. It's like you need to stop giving people room to talk about you. Because that's honestly what I'm getting. Because you know gossip is tea. Over here, it's like y'all not going to be gossiping about me no more. I'm sitting up under the goddamn <laughs> the fireplace waiting for my roast nuts. I mean, my chestnuts to finish roasting. We talking shit about you, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm tired of people keep talking about me. I'm tired of people keep talking about me. They just said you're looking at the current state of your friends right now. And if they are really a high sense of value right now, I feel like someone is looking at the current st state of their friends right now because I'm tired of people talking about me. Because it's like you just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you keep, you keep, you keep running back to the get, get rich. It's like this bitch always... She say she want love, or he say he want love and stuff, and, 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 and I don't even think that it's not that you don't have good people around you. I feel like you be fucking the shit up somehow, like you be fucking shit up. You understand what I'm saying? And then you wonder why people talking about you, because you be, you be, listen, you be chasing the devil's coattail. Like, this is someone that can have a healthy, happy relationship, but they'll go and fuck around and entertain a, a work husband or a work wife and shit like that just because their spouse can't give them attention at the moment. So it's like you literally cannot wait till you get the fuck home, till you get to your man, till you get to your other counterpart who loves you, who adores you, who literally is the, the the foundation of peace in your life you you can't you just cannot wait until you get the fuck home you just got to be sneaking around and be flirting with someone at your motherfucking job is just gonna turn around and fuck every goddamn thing up and now you wondering why people talking about you because these people is like bitch if that was me if that was my i would have never fucked that up bitch what is wrong with you why why you always got time for some shit it's always time for some shit with you. You just don't know how to stop and not be a part of the fucking gossip and be a part of the tea. Like, you gotta stop. It's not always, like, repetition. Like, you keep doing the same shit over and over and over and over again. And you need to stop. What is this, an endless moment? An eternity? No, this shit needs to stop. Like, indefinitely. You need to grow the fuck up. And I'm just keeping it 100. Because other than that, I'm going to keep talking about your dumb ass. Because more and more you keep doing dumb shit. I'm going to keep talking about your stupid ass. Because I'm like, man, if I would have had a situation like that, why well, wouldn't have fucked that up? Like, girl, you couldn't wait till you got home. You literally could not wait till you got home. <laughs> like, when you got dick in the house. Like, girl, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? It was just a glutton for punishment and fucking dumb shit. No. <laughs> now it's dumb. And my whole thing is like, if what you got at home, sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds don't. Right? So if the mound, if, if, if what you got at home ain't giving you the nut, ain't giving you the Almond Joy, why are you. I'm not even about to do this with y'all. Listen to three. So Capricorn, I'm not about to do this with y'all. You got the three of fucking swords. So you're most definitely partaking in a third party goddamn situation. Listen, because you want your cake and eat it too. I'm trying to tell you, you got a home situation over here that things ain't moving quick enough for you. Or you impatient and you easily distracted by other shit. You understand what I'm saying? 
You got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So you might be trying to get it in the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I th this is basically telling me that whoever you got at home, you're not interested in it. You're trying to find a way to get up out of it because you're not interested in it anymore. Like you listen, T, the, the real T is is that sweetness you got. <laughs> something else that you more interested in like I feel like this is something of the past time you are really not interested in it you're thinking about somebody else it's somebody else and it's something else that is more important to you that you think you can gain access to quicker you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna have to work to get to this nut or I don't have to work at all you know what I'm saying my nut just dead I ain't got you know what I'm saying I don't uh, mm mm the Eight of Swords is lit. You, you playing your cards closely to your chest. I don't feel like you are allowing people to see your hand right now. You are, you are definitely trying to weasel your way about of a thing where you find yourself with mental conflict. This is like you're not drunk in love anymore. You're, you're sobering up. You're aware. You are emotionally sound and you know what the fuck you need to do and you want to do whatever this relationship is, whatever this ten of cups. It should be something that should be emotionally satisfying and loving and nurturing and all blue, 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 blah, blah, blah. But it's not. You're not interested in it and you're definitely doing something right now currently to destroy it. So, um, to that part. Clarify the situation for me. Clarify the mound. Clarify the mound. The, the six of diamonds. You're definitely you're moving away from this person. You said the prettiest is the farthest. The six of diamonds is when you are cutting someone out. You don't want to speak to anyone. You're moving on. You're reclaiming your assets. Which is like your mental clarity. Because like. I feel like you might have been confused at one point. I, I do feel like you, you felt like you wanted this until you seen something else. And now it's just like, eh, I don't really want to do that anymore. And again, you're getting aid and assistance to move away from the situation. So you already made your mind up and it's because you have something else that is helping you get away from this situation. Point blank. The fuck period. That's, that's. Should I even gather any more information from this or should we just move the fuck on? Move on. Thank you. Let's figure out what the hell is going on over here, child. Shall we? No, let me. Because y'all irritate me. Let me get it. Please give me a card from this shaman deck. And I wasn't even supposed to be fucking with these cards over here. This, this, this was over here for the morning. <laughs> this ain't even had nothing to do with y'all. Okay. Please give me some shamanic guidance for this person. What is this? Retreat? This is retreat. Move away from whoever this person is because I honestly feel like whoever this is is a good person and they deserve better than you. And I'm not even about to fucking hold you. I'm so sorry about it. And if you feel like that bullet hit you, I do not give a shit. I really do. And then the omen came out. You are not like you. You are not a good person to whoever this person is. This person is giving you the ten of fucking cups, like, and you don't appreciate it. So get the fuck on and leave this person the fuck alone, so they can find someone that's that's better for them. The fuck, you are like a devil spawn sent from hell directly. Get the fuck on, like you are not a balanced person for this. You, like, you, and, and again, I don't even think you should be retreating. I feel like this is. Something that you should be proud of obtaining. Something that you should be. That should be something worthwhile keeping. But you are not worthwhile keeping. So get the fuck. Like you are a negative omen on this person's life. And their love relationship. Get the fuck on. You understand? Or whoever the hell this is dealing with this damn Capricorn. If this is you. You understand what I'm saying? And. You're feeling this energy of someone that is impatient, that is just, I just want to say moves too fucking quickly. And in one minute you feel like they in it, and in one minute you feeling like something weird with them. If you just feeling like something is off, you were the one that is the prettiest. The prettiest is the furthest away from the type of energy like this. You got the devil in reverse with the seven, like this person don't even wouldn't understand true quality if it hit them across their fucking body with a if it ran them over with a Mack truck. 
this person chases low vibrational shit. Get the fuck away from this person. Anyway, let's 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 let's, let's carry the fuck on. Cause I, I'm, I'm like y'all to irritate. I hate people that say they want good shit in life, but you can tell that they don't by the actions and the things that you do. If you got something good in your life and you doing dumb shit like this. Like, just shut the fuck up because I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk, talk shit to your face. I'm going to tell you to your face, you a dumb bitch. And most motherfuckers know me know that I will. Like, so I like, oh my God. Please keep this energy the fuck from around me. And I'm letting y'all know, if, if, and this the same way, I'm going to read. Okay, if y'all book a personal price, do not come and book no reader with me with no bullshit, young. If y'all are not elevating and if y'all are like a toxic karmatic type of person do not book with me because the same way i'm talking to y'all right now is the same shit that y'all gonna get when y'all book with me if y'all are not a type of person that really wants to hear the truth and want to elevate and get your shit together do not book with me i'm telling y'all go find them other readers <laughs> no I'm, I'm so sorry about it because i'm gonna get your ass the fuck together because i don't like shit like this fucking idiots you know i'm so sorry about it i'm not about to give y'all no sweet way up out of this shit no you're fucking stupid what the fuck is this this is the nine of earth so listen this is the nine of pentacles okay so this is someone what is this the madre of air so this is okay okay the full fire okay you you realize you don't want no relationships <laughs> in the coriander of, of water okay so listen so this is someone, this is someone that is coming to the realization that, look, I, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel more successful just being single. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate my own vibes. Like, I'm not a commitment type of person. I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm the fuck just not. I'm not. I am not a commitment person with the full fire. The full fire in the coriander of water in the like this person, especially if this is um if this is a Capricorn male with the um yeah coriandra of water. This is like the king of of of, of cups in the reverse. If so, if this is a Capricorn male, they're basically saying that. You got the mother. You got the. I'm sorry. It just hit me. It just hit me. What cards I'm looking at here? Hold on. Because I was about to say something. And I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Look at those cards again, bitch. Look at those cards again. Again. Um. I feel like this woman right here is like doing a swift cut of all of the male energies out of her life because. She really feels like she just hanging these motherfuckers out to dry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she don't even use everything. Like, for real, for real. It's like, I'm going to use some of you now. I'm going to put some away for later. Like, I want to say that this person is a user. You know what I'm saying? And really only deals with people for what could be beneficial to them. Like, this is a loner. This is someone that really has no business being in any type of long-term committed relationships. I don't know why this person is lying to people, trying to make it seem like they want to be in long-term committed relationship. You're a fucking liar. This is, the <laughs> this is the queen of goddamn swords in the reverse. This is a manipulative-ass, piece-of-shit-ass motherfucker. I don't give a damn. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this person is all about self. All about self if it don't make dollars it don't make sense like if you are not benefiting them or if they can't find a type of way for there to be some type of lucrative pro profit out of the situation they're not going to deal with you and then even after they get whatever they get out of you they're going to cut you out in a very manipulative way I will make it feel like it's something that you did or They'll even make it seem like they'll, they're crazy just to get away from you. Like, they'll make their self seem like they're dysfunctional or they will sabotage shit. You, do you understand what I'm saying? To make you walk away from them. Do you understand? Because they're not commitment worthy. This person does not want commitment. This person thinks that they want commitment, but they don't. And because of that, the men in their lives, they just make them just like, 
um, an emotionally unworthy candidate because they don't know what the fuck to do with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're scared to show you how they feel because you're clearly all out for self. You know what I'm saying? It's literally all about what you're benefiting out of this situation. You 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 have no you have no problems with lying, manipulating shit, trying to gaslight someone, try to make it seem like they're the reason why you're <laughs> a lying, manipulative, cheating, low vibrational piece of shit. It's not them. Is it that they're coming to you with the commitment and offer on the table and you are making? I feel like you're driving these. I feel like this is a woman that is driving men emotionally crazy and she feels good about it. Like she may sit under the fireplace with her girls like, girl, you will never believe with this motherfucker. Girl, yeah, I left his ass at the store. You know what I'm saying, girl? No, no, girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I got this other one over here. Like, tch, I got the keys to his house and everything. He really think I'm about to be wife and shit. Little do he know, girl. <laughs> girl, like, I'm just like, girl, that ain't what I want to do right now. I'm about to find some reason to cut his ass out. I'm going to make him feel like it's something he did. Like, I, ain't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you always with the tea. You always got the tea. You always with the tea. You always fucking around. But at least, like, shit is on go right now. Like, I, I, I feel like you about to cut everybody off. Anybody that is looking for some type of commitment for you, any man that is acting, anyone that you beat down to the point where they're starting to act emotionally insecure and like moody and, and, and you know what I'm saying, giving you any type of lip whining and stuff like that, I got you right where I want you, you whining too much, nigga bye, <laughs> like I'm sorry, yo I really feel like this woman is like, a slut bucket. I'm so sorry. Like, slut. Like, you a slut, sis. I'm so sorry about it. I'm so sorry. Because when I say something about what, work husbands and shit, like, this girl, like, you just be, mm, mm, mm. E baby, you got the, whoever the, whoever, whoever the opposing energy, whoever is the person that is on the receiving energy of this type of manipulation, this person is an omen in your life. You need to retreat. This person is like Damien, like the devil spawn. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get the whole fuck away from this goddamn idiot before she feeds you to the devil himself. Because the thing is, y'all don't realize when you be hanging around toxic motherfuckers like that, they literally feed you to the devil. Like, sooner or later, you become just like them because you don't know how to leave these type of people alone. And if you don't know why you cannot get away from this person, like, you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, the seven of earth in the reverse is like where someone is not paying attention to how toxic this motherfucker is around them with this devil card. And it's like, by the time they look up and they... Realize what is going on. Everything around them is spoiled and rotten. Everything done went wrong. Everything done went bad. Because like the devil in the reverse is like some type of conjuring. Some type of manipulation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this person got you bad. I mean like ugh got their claws in you. Like you've been glamoured. You've been conjured. Listen this person knows what the fuck they doing. And they go around their friends and talk about how they done glamoured and conjured another one. And another one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker know, like, this person a green lit you, gas lit you. Like, you one of the others. You one of the rest. Okay? You might have been one of the best, but at the end of the day, your fate ain't gonna be no different than everybody else. Like, she sips tea. Find the lesson. You gotta find the lesson in the reverse. So, it's like, whoever's dealing with this person, because I feel like this reading is more so for the person on the receiving end of this type of falsehood fallacies and manipulation and bullshit. You need to find the true lesson as to why this person came into your life and you had to experience something like this. I really want to say that you had to have a crash course in what toxicity is and that everything that glitters ain't go. Everything that look good ain't necessarily good for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, all that cake ain't good for you. 
Remember when I was saying something about someone trying to get something fast, like fast, quick results. That's what the devil is. It's someone, again, the seven of earth, someone that is impatient and does not want to wait. At all. Water boils on its own as long as you put it over the fire. You do not need to add salt in the game. This motherfucker be adding too much salt in the motherfucking game. You need to find out why this person came into your life. and Because God is trying to tell you something. I really do feel like whoever this is. Whoever this is. Ever, you need to change your position in life. And you need to realize that, listen, I am not relationship material. Let me stop tricking myself and stop playing with others because karma is going to... Let me try to tell you. You want to have to pay a price for the devil and you're going to have to pay a price to the Lord for the karma that you were creating for yourself, my dear. Oh, and the devil, his price is very high. He's letting you skate around and get away with all of this shit. He's collecting souls under your name right now. Think about how many men, how many souls you have collected and fed to the devil that he is over there enjoying and feasting on. How many people that you've literally ruined? <laughs> you think he ain't going to be ready to collect you very soon? <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't run from him, baby. You done did too much. You can't see that. I feel, I feel like this person going to try to run from the devil. Oh, no, but I'm sorry. I really wasn't doing this. And, no, you were doing it for me. <laughs> you were doing it for me. You can't run. You can't. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. When it's time to pay the piper, oh, you going to learn. You right here, you going to learn. And whoever the hell this is dealing with this person, you going to learn the reason for why this person came into your life. I think God wanted you to see that fat meat is greasy. Okay? I thought like I said that in somebody else's goddamn reading. That fat meat is greasy. That salt is sodium. And, um, okay? Could give you fucking pressure problems. Like, for real. Oh, my gracious. And I really do feel like whoever this is is dealing with this shit. With the mounds, they really do feel like someone is giving you pressure problems. It's too much. Listen, the ten of wands in reverse. Whoever this is dealing with this Capricorn, or if this Capricorn is dealing with a water sign individual or air sign, no. If it's a, okay, because the male energy is in the reverse in the water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, dealing with a Capricorn woman, or if you're a Capricorn man, where your emotions is all fucked up right now, and you're dealing with an air sign woman, okay, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you need to leave this woman the fuck alone and drop this burden from this woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? Vice versa. If you're a Capricorn woman, and you were dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio male. You need to realize the reason why you cannot mentally figure shit out for yourself is because this is too much for you to carry. It's not like this is this is not for you. This is a card of someone that you're you're literally in a relationship on your own. You're doing everything on your own. The Three of Wands. Listen, the ship has sailed here. It is time for you to realize that, okay? The ship has sailed, okay? It has sailed. Don't look back. Don't question if you should have got on the boat. You should have got on the boat. The prettiest is <laughs> the prettiest or the farthest. You should have cut this person off. You should have got away from this. There, there, there's better things elsewhere. And that's something that you got to know. And that is something that you got to show this person. The ship has sailed here. There is no more opportunities left here. This person has shown you who the fuck they are. Find the lesson in this. And don't delay in finding the lesson. Find it quickly and go. There's no more time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody else that had sense has left 
this person or has left this area. This is a card of movement, of travel, of leaving. Leaving shit behind because you know ain't shit left there and everything that's meant for you is damn sure not in this area. Relocating. Stop trying to figure this out. Stop trying to work this out with this person. Drop all your burdens. Get the fuck on the boat and leave. Leave. That's the best thing I can tell you. What's under the deck? The tower in the reverse. You got the tower in the fucking reverse. I'm trying to tell you. This is this is a disaster that you need to avoid. You understand? I don't even think you really see what's coming to you. You understand? Like enough has already happened already that should have given you red flags to realize that you're dealing with a low vibrational narcissist that is trying to feed you to the fucking devil himself. Feed me, Seymour. That is what the devil is saying to this person. Feed me, Seymour. And this bitch is like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got just the right one for you. Nice and juicy. To Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or, <laughs> or Gemini Libra Aquarius. I know exactly who it is. I know the exact right one for you. If you don't get the fuck away from this goddamn person... Time is up for this person. Time is to fuck up. Time to move on. What is this? I just seen some. Hold on. Am I tripping? You got the jack of goddamn clubs right here. The jack of clubs says their heads are gone if it pleases your majesty. So listen, this is someone that is like a close colleague, a co-worker, a friend, it's like a someone that this person works with that is seeing this manipulative son of a bitch. I don't know if they know who this person. I feel like whoever this work colleague is possibly knows who this person is. And they're like they're 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 telling whoever their friend is that this person is doing a disservice to you. I can get rid of them if you want me to. Like, this is someone willing to put work in for someone else. Like, they work together. Like, you know what I'm saying? They assist each other in matters. So, it's like someone that is literally willing, you know what I'm saying, to tell them all for you. You know what I'm Like, like yeah, you might as well just leave him alone because it's like, yeah, you might as well just leave him alone. Listen, and then the two of hearts, and then the girl, <laughs> the, the devil's going to be like, oh, I beg your pardon? What did you say? Yeah, I, th I think you should just leave him alone. I think you should just leave him alone. Because, girlfriend, you're trash. And you're, trying to and you're trying to disguise yourself as if you really love this person. But I see you. I done already talked to this person, and I done already talked to God about it. God said, listen, your head could be put on a spike right now. You might as well fess up and let this and let this person the fuck go. You break up with him. Okay? Cuz I'm trying to tell my friend that you ain't no fucking good. Bitch, I seen you in your works before I know you. And I'm not saying that you don't like this person, but you ain't about to make my friend a part of your motherfucker collection. And you, yeah, I already know that you be on that low vibrational devil ass shit, but yo, listen, yo God which is Lucifer, ain't more powerful than my God. My God said, I will put your head, I, could, I have permission to put your head on a fucking spike. We don't play around here. Like, no, my friend is part of my club. Okay? My club. Okay? The leader of our club is God. The leader of your club is Satan. I don't think you want to start no gang wars around here, sweetness. I think you might just want to move the fuck on. So, I don't know. Like, there's somebody that knows that y you know this person or is going to say something on your behalf. And, and whoever this girl or whoever this toxic person is going to be like, oh, I beg your pardon. I actually do love this person. I probably do. But look at all look at all of these other little animals. Look at all of this other shit that like this is this person is cluttered. Cluttered. Has too many damn things. The ace of fucking spades. 
the ace of spades and I, I seen it in the reverse but it says who am I I will remember if I can and then you got the four clubs so again like I really do feel like the four clubs is like um a committed work environment like the people in you and you see like these are your you see your little friends at the table with you what does it say why is a raven like a writing desk? Like, like your friends is like you asking your friends like, why the fuck was that bitch like that? Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to stay in a place where you safe at. Like, you don't need to be out there frolicking and dealing with them type of fucking monk monkeys and fucking sea urchins and shit. Like, you don't need to be out at sea, like, waiting on shit like that. Why the fuck are you waiting on Jezebels and and and? tomfoolery like what the fuck was wrong with you cuz like I like I no it, it it I feel like your friends had to come and get you like you you went to the point where this person was feeding you piece by piece to the devil where you ain't even know who the fuck you were it says who am I I will remember if I can like so this is like the, the, this is an ending this is the death card like an ending that creates a positive new beginning like it had to end again because i want to say like this person could have been a distraction on your fucking work distraction on your day-to-day -day business like the the cubs is your, your day-to-day business what you do to claim your assets you know what i'm saying so this is the work that you put in before you actually get the pinnacles before you get the diamonds you know what I'm saying so I feel like whoever this is like they're safely back at work like they're not distracted they're talking about this whole situation I, 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 and it, it, it's, oh my goodness please give me guidance I already went here with it so I'm gonna have to the unlimited possibilities was flipped over but I just hold on let me do this one more time y'all Yes. I do feel like there's unlimited possibilities after you come out of this. Whoever this was that was playing with the devil, the devil is coming to collect. I'll pray for you. I might, but I might not. I might not. Look, movement into balance. Movement into balance. Where the, where the night meets the uh, where the night meets the sun. Female energy, which is the moon, meets the masculine energy, which is the sun. You know, um, with this water and everything, I feel like th there was many rainy days for you recently. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of emotion and mental confusion with that coriander of water and the madame of water. I mean, the madame of air in the reverse. There was a lot of and then my candle just went out. So yeah, this this is done. This is this is over with. Those rainy days was literally for the sole purpose to um water the grassroots that you've planted for a new day and to get yourself in balance with the right positive type of energy. Because you were definitely ever you were the negative energy and you need to reassess yourself with this goddamn omen card. And the devil, like, you have literally been a nightmare to people's lives. And you should not pride yourself on that. You understand? And you should not continue in this method because with this, it's always tea time. You need to fucking stop. Because when people come out of dealing with you, it's literally, they have to take a a sage bath like listen they look they need to just straight bath with just fucking sage essential oil fucking salt like every piece of salt that you can find for protection and just listen do you understand like oh my god i can't even do this anymore i gotta go i gotta go let me see just one more clarifying message for um because i don't already went into my my secret little safety batch of <laughs> cards over here on the side that ain't have no business being in this goddamn reading. But it's definitely serving a purpose right now. Um, so God needed it to be there for a reason. So give me, please give me one card for just like, 
closing guidance for Capricorns, whoever this is dealing with this Capricorn, just whatever. What is this saying? Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Because I, I don't feel like you're no fucking, you're not naive and you're not a fool as to the energies and the level of manipulation that is surrounding you. I don't feel like you are comfortable. There isn't there is a negative and a toxic attachment here because you have the devil there. So it is something where it is going to be a struggle to be released from because it's codependent. It's codependent. And I feel like y'all's low vibrational energy is talking to each other and, and, and it triggers each other. And you need to speak your mind to God and the universe. And you need to say, God, I need to let this go. Like, thank you for me seeing this reading today. I, I It served its purpose. You want me to get away. And that's what I shall do. You said the furthest is the prettiest. The, the prettiest is the furthest away from this shit. You're absolutely right. The six of, listen, let me, six of diamonds is when you cut someone the fuck out and you just... Okay? Okay? They gotta go. They got to go. The six of diamonds means you go in quiet. It means quiet. Being timid. Shyness. A lack of communication. Jealousy. Possessiveness. Like I told you. I fucking told you. If you... If did. <clears throat> And the possessiveness, like the, the devil not wanting to let you go, but not wanting to put anything in it. Like I said, the seven of, of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that wasn't really paying attention to you like that. Might have been all, of the, all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't paying attention. It says, it says jealousy, possessiveness, psychology, social services, science, technology, computers, information system, diagnostic equipment, an energy serve, vitality, power, electrical shop, horse power. Like I'm trying to tell y'all getting away fast. It's just like something that just hits you. Hits you. Social services like this motherfucker need help. And I'm not the one to give it to him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Electrical shop. Horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline. Listen, nervous energy. I feel like you're nervous about saying how you feel and that you think that this shit is toxic, that this person is toxic and you need to separate and you need to get away from this shit. But you need to speak your mind. You need to speak your mind. You know? So that you can get away, you know? Because right now, uh, with that six of diamonds, like, you're definitely... It's the six of diamonds, the retreat in the omen. You feel like this person has been a plague. Like, the devil himself has literally dropped down on your existence and tried to take over your world, sweetheart. What is this? This is the seven of cups. The Lord will give you more options. There are, there are going to be other options out there for you. And you went through this. And that's why this went over here. Is to teach you what everything that glitters is not gold. Please take your time. Self-evaluate yourself in regards to what you really want. Do you understand? And make sure that what you really want wants you. If what you want don't want you. And it want other things. Then you need to reassess yourself. That's why I say everything that glitters ain't gold. It's time to safely move over to the other side where you're just making that one singular selection. That's why I said go inside for your own introspection. You don't need all of that. You just need one thing. Do you understand? This person that you're dealing with, they don't realize that you don't need all of that. And you just want one thing. This person wants everything. And all things fast and now with no patience without self-assessment strength and you know the strength is literally the power of God um, overcoming the devil 
overcoming your temptation, over overcoming your desires, your wants, your yearning to reach out to this person, your wants, your desires, your addictions to this person. You're not able to release and let go of this regardless of the fact you see how toxic and how bad this is for you like this is you literally looking at the beast in the eye and saying fuck you you don't have no power over me no more there's other options out here that are better than you i see you for what you are i'm good i'm avoiding this disaster i am dropping this burden and my ship is selling the fuck on i have no more time for you that's it. The end. Bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. We're done. Capricorn, you already know what's going on. Boy, this reading was the T. Yee, yee. With me. Yee, yee. Y'all done got extra cards. Y'all got three extra decks. So put three extra forms of respect. Y'all make sure that y'all comment down there. And let me know how this video resonated with you. Make sure that you hit the like button. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Capricorn, I love you. Continue to love yourself. Okay? Love yourself, and if you are the person that's dealing with this energy, if you were dealing with the cat, get the fuck away from this person. Capricorn, if this is you dealing with someone like this, get the fuck away from this person. That's all. I'm gone. Bye.